So, before we start um, flaking, let's discuss this uh, a little bit special construction of the milling machine I have here. As I said, this is the saddle which rides on the foundation like so and the table here on top. So, try again. Put that on. Uh, you could argue, namely, that uh, um, the top side of the saddle here is also then possible to flake, uh, or I mean, to view it as an unexposed way, because this table on top here will cover top side of the saddle all the way it's never exposed really um, so for that reason you might do that but still I want to keep to what I learned namely then in this case um, try to flake here so on this one I will then use the drawn up here lines to guide my flaking. And I could try, for example, here to flake one side with the bias flaker and the other side with just hand flake it. Just for, for show. Uh, they will be different. And uh, there are also a couple of things here, namely that uh, when I start here it probably will enter or start off at a different speed than what I end up here so I could I could try to fill in the void here so that I could sort of uh, with the level here start at the same level and then be able to to enter this already having sped up but because this is I mean quite quite narrow anyway so um, I fear that my bias flaking will not really be that consistent. If it was wider, I would really have more consistent speed. Uh, we'll see. So this is what I mean. If uh, I put a piece of something here, clamp it down and then Having already then milled it down to the exact level of this way, I would be able to start here and then move over here, so I get more consistent marks. Maybe I'll do that. I'll see. So I will start with the hand flaking. I've chosen a fairly um, radius blade. And uh, just my old Anderson scraper with uh, some rubber here, because what I want to do is um, I'll start like so, and then I'll knock on the upbound swing, so this will produce like so and scoot downwards. And I'll bend over. So I have a little bit almost tipping over, I've learned, and placing the, the scraper here to my shoulder, a little bit angled forward from this, so, and all to the side. So let's try here now. I don't expect this to be very nice, but let's try. Already deviating from the pattern I see, but anyway. So 
So I made a real mess out of some of these lines. Evident, we can have a closer look and see. But still, somewhere, well, some were better than others. But not very good. So we'll compare this to the bikes. The bikes, well, of course, um, this floats here, so it only oscillates. So it only oscillates around here. So I will then, doesn't matter if I turn it around, I think I'll go from this side and up. So let's try. These marks are pretty much more uniform and better. I could have um, made it even closer. I see that now. So now it's just a matter of repeating uh, with the marks this way. Uh, I think I'll redo that side with the with the bias anyway, because it's so much more uniform. So having marked up again, marked up again, I'll um, try to go this way. It's a little bit cramped up in here, but we'll do our best. I went for a more close-up pattern, maybe a little bit too much here, so um, we'll give you a close-up look. Uh, you can see here a little bit too much of it, so overlapping. Um, anyway, we saw the difference between the, the boyax and the hand flaking. And now I'll measure the depth also of these cuts. So I'll do a light stoning. Only. Take off any burrs that might have been... You can probably see now the marks going that way. And shifting to go that way. So from here, this way, to that way. I'm using a micron indicator here. I will set this to zero. Well, I can do that now. And then I move very, very slightly the high and low points of between those at least try to do that gently you can see that it shifts it's difficult but evident 
that you have quite a lot of deviation here. And this is in contrast with, um, of course, then the regular scraping marks. I only flipped the piece over to the opposite side so that I can use the scraping marks here. And see how much these deviate. So if I do the same here, you can see then that the deviation is less although some can zero again so the the marks here are much shallower than the flaking marks although there are some deviation and then uh, I have the my trial effort for Swiss style uh, pool scraping uh, very shallow marks this also looks nice intriguing I think in this light here, you can, well, that's only for eye wash. So I'll just measure also the depth of this to show how this is comparable to grinding, almost no deviation. So here we see on the indicator then, and then we can just move a little bit and see the deviation here is very small. Just a few microns. And then the scraped side. Just move it a little bit. You can see deviation is a little bit more. Not that much more, but a little bit.